In this video, I'm going to show you a way that you can find prospects that actually care about your product. Anybody who's done cold email in the past knows that it's pretty hard to find people who actually care about your offering before you pitch it to them. They usually have a pretty low tolerance for cold email or pitching, and they don't really feel like actually listening to what you have to say. However, there is a way to do this and actually find people that have probably heard of your product or heard of you and use that information to then drive your outbound engines. So the two methods of outbound I'm going to be teaching are warm outbound and nearbound. Warm outbound is a way of reaching out to people who have in some way engaged with you, your content, or your brand in some capacity. Ideally, if they've seen something about you, they recognize you or your brand or your face, and it makes your outbound a lot easier. It generates higher response rates because they're familiar with you, and it gives them a lot more trust in your offer, as opposed to if you tried to reach out to them cold. A couple examples of people that I would categorize as warm are social followers, newsletter subscribers, website visitors, social engagers, or maybe even profile viewers if you're operating on LinkedIn. As a whole, I would highly recommend using warm outbound, although there's a smaller list of people in your warm outbound list than would be in a cold outbound list by quite a bit, the conversion rates will be significantly higher. Let's go into the actual tools you can use to utilize warm outbound for yourself. The first one is the most expensive one, but also one of the most effective, which is Common Room. CommonRoom.io is one of the most effective tools for warm outbound just because of how much social listening it does. It's a way to get insights on your social analytics, so people who've engaged with your content the most, who's posted about you in the past your followers, people who are liking your posts the most. It gives you all this incredible actionable data on who you should be reaching out to and who would be the most likely to convert out of those in your social circle. Once you get those insights, you can use them to personalize outbound as well as create a list of people that you should probably be reaching out to. The second tool is RB2B. RB2B is a way to track who visits your website and to reach out to them using the data that is given to you. Pretty much when somebody visits your website, around 20 to 30% of the time, RB2B will be able to identify who that person was was, as well as their job, their LinkedIn, and their email. And you can use that to take action upon that information. The third tool I'm going to mention is Phantom Buster. Phantom Buster is an incredible scraping tool that allows you to scrape very specific data sets of people, companies, contacts. And as you can see, there are a series of different exports and scrapers that you can use to find people who are warm in your network. For example, you can find your Instagram photo likers, you can find your LinkedIn post likers, and you can extract that information, download it as a CSV, and then reach out to the people that Phantom Buster scrapes for you. Let me get get into Nearbound. Nearbound is a very specific type of outbound that reaches out to the companies or technologies that you might be partnered with. For example, if you're a HubSpot agency, you could actually sign up for one of these Nearbound tools and see all of HubSpot's current customers and who is in their pipeline. The one tool I'd really recommend here is a tool called Reveal. Reveal allows you to see the CRM customers and general pipeline of some of the tools that you partner with and in exchange, they get to see yours. Some of the benefits of using things like Warm Outbound and Nearbound is that it makes things like like your intro line ridiculously easy. Hey, saw you like my post about blank and figured this might interest you. Or hey, nice to be connected with you on LinkedIn. Would love to chat about X. It's an intro line that's relevant. It's personable and something that people are probably going to respond to. So let's say you scrape on Phantom Buster a list of people who liked your post. How do you actually act upon this information? So as you can see here, I'm in a clay table. I've imported the CSV that contains all of the post likers of a specific post and you can see them in this list right here. I get a lot of information off the bat from Phantom Buster like their profile link, name, job, the level of degree that they are to me, the type of reaction that they had, their first name, last name, and the post URL, even the timestamp in which I scraped it. Next, what I wanted to do was find more information about the person or the company. The way Clay works is it has a series of enrichments that allow you to essentially access more information about the person or company you're trying to reach out to. In this case, I'd use the enrich person from profile integration, which I access by clicking add enrichment, typing in enrich person, and clicking on it, putting that information, and then just throwing that LinkedIn profile right into the integration. When you click run, you you can see here that it runs the integration and when you click on one of the cells there is a ridiculous amount of accessible info about the person from their summary to their name to their title to the country they reside in to their experience i can now figure out the company that they work with at the moment for this guy xavier he works at a company called the cold message it even has the linkedin url of the company which i can then throw into an enriched company integration and get even more information about the company he works for their description employee count their follower count from there i wanted to keep this one pretty simple all i really want to do is find the work email of the people that liked my post. Clay has an awesome thing called a work email waterfall. If you type in work email in this ad enrichment panel and click on it, you can actually just go to this section right here. And it's using a series of different data providers to find the person's email. So you throw in their name and their company domain, run, 
and voila, you have a ton of emails right here. So now that you found their emails, maybe you want to personalize the first line or improve your email as a whole. Clay has a series of open AI integrations that allow you to do this. So if you wanted to do something like make the name sound a little bit more normal when you're sending it an email, you can throw in an open AI integration, which uses ChatGPT at scale, and you can prompt it to say, take this company's raw name and output a cleaned, normalized version, and it will make the company name sound more normal, just like this. You can use AI integrations for pretty much anything. When it's all said and done, and you want to send this email out, you use a tool like Smart Leader instantly, throw in your template for the campaign, and then all you have to do is click Add Enrichment, Smart Lead, and you can see all these integrations right here. We're going to do Add Lead to Campaign. When you go into the settings, all we need to put in is their validated work email and their company name. When we click Run, voila, they have been added to our campaign. It's a very easy way to automate your outbound messaging for your nearbound campaigns, making it a little bit easier to run. Those are the two strategies I would use to find people who actually might care about your product relative to those that you are reaching out to with conventional cold outbound. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Happy prospecting.